Three methods to read EEPROM chip with Autol IM508 slash IM608 XP400. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate hub for automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, and show some love with a super thanks. When using the Autol IM508 slash IM608 paired with the XP400 or XP400 Pro to read EEPROM chips, there are three main methods for data extraction. Each method serves a unique purpose based on the chip's condition, accessibility, and whether you prefer non-invasive or secure connection techniques. Here's a detailed breakdown of each approach. Method 1. APB103 EEPROM Clamp. Overview. This is the simplest and quickest method for reading EEPROM data. The APB103 clamp can be applied directly to the EEPROM chip while it's still on the circuit board, meaning no need to dolder or remove the chip. When to use. Ideal when the chip is functioning properly and doesn't require deeper inspection. Useful when you want to avoid soldering or desoldering, making it a convenient option for quick reads. Advantages. Non-invasive and easy to use. No need to remove the chip from the board. Disadvantages. Less reliable for data extraction, as it can be hard to get a good read. Loose connections or interference may cause reading errors or incomplete data. Method 2. APA002 EEPROM Socket Overview The APA002 EEPROM Socket allows you to perform a non-invasive read or write on an EEPROM chip that has already been removed from the circuit board. When to use Preferred for technicians who want to avoid soldering and ensure a secure, stable connection to the EEPROM during data extraction. Typically used when the EEPROM can be easily removed and placed into the socket ensuring a stable and reliable data communication pathway. Advantages. Provides a more stable and secure connection, reducing the risk of data corruption. Ideal for delicate or critical data like immobilizer information, mileage correction, or module cloning. Ensures no loose connections occur. Disadvantages. Requires the chip to be removed from the circuit board, which may not be ideal if you're looking for a faster, non-invasive method. Method 3. APB-129 EEPROM Adapter Shell Overview The APB-129 EEPROM Adapter Shell is designed for securely mounting 6 or 8-pin EEPROM chips for reading or writing data. When to use Best suited for advanced EEPROM repairs or when the chips are not easily accessible using other clamps or sockets. Useful when dealing with scenarios that require precise alignment and secure connections, ensuring stability during the operation. Advantages. Provides the most stability and secure connection for EEPROM chips that are difficult to access. Reduces the risk of data corruption or errors during the reading and writing process. Ideal for operations requiring precision and accuracy, such as working with advanced modules or critical data. Disadvantages. Takes more time to set up compared to the clamp or socket method due to the need for precise alignment of the chip. Conclusion. These three methods offer flexibility depending on the situation and the EEPROM chip you're working with. Use the APB103 clamp for quick, non-invasive reads when the chip is functioning properly, but don't mind occasional unreliability. Choose the APA002 socket when you prefer a non-soldering method and need stable, reliable data communication with a removed chip. Opt for the APB129 adapter shell for precise, stable connections when dealing with complex repairs or advanced data extraction, especially when accuracy is critical. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that super thanks button. Until next time, happy diagnosing.